What's going on everyone, I'm Rohan, a fourth year medical student currently studying at Cardiff University and today I'm going to be talking to you about why Anki is such a great resource to be using at medical school. You know what, scrap that, Anki is a great resource to be using not just at medical school, at secondary school, even primary school. It uses a series of space repetition and active recall to allow you to remember things better than you even thought that you could and I'm going to go over why that is. Let's get into it. So if you're unaware, Anki is like Quizlet. It allows you to make flashcards and allows you to remember those flashcards in a way that you never thought that you could before. You download Anki from the internet and similar to Quizlet it allows you to create a front facing image so a front side of the flashcard and a back facing image or a back side of the flashcard where you reveal your answer. Unlike other types of flashcards Anki has a hell of a lot of other features that allows you to memorize anatomy better, allows you to add in extra information if you're unaware and I'm going to go over what those features are today. So like I said before Anki uses the method of space repetition and active recall. The space repetition part is the fact that you are completing these flashcards at regular times through Throughout your life you're going over these informations regularly and that you're not forgetting them. The active recall part is the fact that you are doing these flashcards and actually reciting out the answer hopefully or that you are doing these questions and taking information from your memory and answering the question. The method of active recall and space repetition are two evidence-based practices and I put a link below to Ali Abdal's video which goes into more detail on both. Like I said before Anki uses the theory of space repetition and active recall to prevent you from going down the forgetting curve. The forgetting curve implies that once you learn a piece of information you progressively forget it until you just don't remember it anymore and unless you go over those pieces of information regularly then you probably won't remember them. The point of Anki is that you do go over those pieces of information regularly and that that forgetting curve becomes slightly less steep. Hopefully, you actually remember it a bit better after you use Anki and not progressively get worse, hopefully. When using Anki, there are three options which you can select, which allow the Anki program to register the fact that you either know the answer very, very well, know the answer kind of well, or don't know the answer at all. Depending on which button you click will depend on when the next flashcard appears in the system. For example, the options on Anki are again, which is less than one minute, good, which is in one day, and easy, which is in four days. So depending on which option you select will depend on what time frame the flashcard appears in your options or in your system. I'll go over this later and actually show you a little image. Now obviously we need to get onto Anki first, so let's get into it. So first thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go to my decks. So as you can see, I've got a hell of a lot of decks. And that's basically because I have topics ranging from every single thing in medicine. Cry. But also I've got a bit of OSCE stuff here, which is our practical exam. So just for the reference of this video, I'm just going to use this simple Anki tutorial deck. The first thing that you want to do is that you want to make a simple flashcard with a front and a back. So let's just go to add. And as you can see in the top left, it says basic. And the top right, it says which deck that you're adding it to. So the front of it is going to be what is my name and in the back of it will show Rohan and then you're going to add it and once you add it it gets compiled into a massive folder with all of your flashcards into it at once so now if you wanted to study the flashcard all you have to do is press study now and then the flashcard is there and then what you want to do is that you want to click either enter or spacebar on your keypad so I'm going to just press spacebar and then it's going to come up with your answer right so now you have the option of three so you can either select less than one minute so if you want to press it again you can either select good which is less than 10 minutes or you can select easy which will show the card in four days hopefully i know my own name so i'm going to click good for four days now the next type of flashcard i'm going to show you how to make is the one where you're allowed to add in your own information yourself so for example let's go to add make it full screen and then you're going to use your close selection close let's say you want to add this so like and as I did, you're going to click these three little buttons, this three dotted and then with brackets on the outside button here. And then in this space here, you're going to write your answer and there's some extra information on the back. And then you're going to add it to your folder. So now let's say if I close this then I can study this one thing, so like and with the brackets in, what you're going to do, you're going to subscribe. Plug. The next type of flashcard I'm going to show you how to make is an image occlusion flashcard. So this involves you adding a picture in and then covering the areas that you don't want to see and answering questions on those. So the first thing that you want to go to do, you need to download the image occlusion add-on from the Anki website. To do this, what you need to do is that you have to have the Anki website open with the image occlusion website part of it on. So just for reference, this is the website here. And then at the bottom of the website, it will give you a download code, which you want to copy and paste. So let's say I copied and pasted it. Then you want to go back to your Anki. At the top of the section, there'll be a section to add add-ons. So you want to do is you want to add the add-on, you want to press get add-on, and then you want to copy and paste the code here. I've already done this. So this this is the add-on here, it's called Image Occlusion Enhanced for Anki 21 Alpha. So now what you want to do is that you want to go back to your Anki tutorial.
tutorial or the deck that you were using. You want to go to add, let's make it full screen to make it easier. Then you want to go to your image occlusion. So you're going to have all of these little things here and I'm going to show you how to use them wisely properly. Just for reference, the type of Anki that you're doing right now is an image occlusion enhanced one and the deck that you're adding it to is an Anki tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is that you want to actually add the image in that you want to hide and cover up for the question. So the first thing I'm just going to do is that I'm going to press on this clip chart here which will take me to my files, my folder sections and I've saved a picture on my desktop. So now what's going to happen is that Anki will open up a clip art section here and what it's going to ask you to do is that it wants you to cover up the part of the screen which you don't want to see as part of the question. So let's say I don't want to see this part of the question or any of the lay facts so I cover it like this as you can see it's in the section over here so if I click this then I can hide all the words which I want. Now Anki knows that I don't want to see these parts for the question so now I want to click hide all and guess one. So as you can see it quickly said three cards are added so once you press close you may be thinking but it's completely empty where are all of my cards don't worry it's been saved to the database that I showed you before so now what you want to do is that you want to press close and then you're going to go back to your Anki tutorial deck and then you're going to press study now as you can see it's covered up all of the words which I want to hide for the question if I want to see which one this was like before I would press the space bar or enter and you can see that it's a neural nodule and then you're either going to click again for less than one minute good for less than 10 minutes or easy which will show the flashcard in four days time so let's say I didn't know that the answer was mural nodule let's say even though I don't press again so because I click the mural nodule section to be again in less than one minute it's come up again in my notes and my flashcards so it's again activating the period of active recall and space repetition just to ensure that it get ingrained into your knowledge so now that I know that's the mural nodule and then again it's going to go over the other ones and that about wraps up how you use that feature. So another great feature about Anki is the fact that not only are all of these on your laptop but if you ever wanted to find them online you'll be able to do that. So all you'd have to do is go to anki.web.net, log in with your account and then as you can see all of my flashcards are there. So if you're ever on the go then you'll be able to access it online. I know that Anki also do the option of downloading the app although it's £25. Money! And if you're not willing to spend £25 on it, let's say you're a broke student, the online version will do just fine. So another thing that's good about Anki is the fact that it gives you a due and new section of your Anki notes. So that basically means that the due section are the questions that you've done before and that you've revised and the new section is the questions that you haven't covered before and you've just added them. Which is really beneficial because obviously you want to know and you want to keep track of the ones that you've done and the ones that you haven't done. Another good thing about Anki is the fact that it actually triggers and detects whether or not you've made duplicate cards. So let's say I was going back to the Anki tutorial here. If I was to add another basic clash card, let's say what is my name again, Anki realizes that I've already made that kind of card. Because it's showing me that it's a duplicate card, I'm more likely to say no, that's fine, I don't want to add it anymore, and therefore not wasting my time. Another thing that you can do is the fact that you are allowed to use shared Anki notes. So let's say you want to get a shared piece of notes from your friends. Let's say they've made revision questions on Anki about a topic that you haven't. For example, rheumatology, let's say it's too boring that you can't be asked to do it well then what you're going to do is that you're going to ask them to share the Anki deck with you and you can actually get their notes and use them as your own sneaky so that about wraps up the video as you can see Anki is a great program for you to start or even just continue working at your normal pace it's really good at ingraining all the information into your knowledge as quickly as possible using the algorithm using the different features that it has and also the shared Anki availabilities is really useful in the way of your learning as you may know Anki has been really useful in my time in medical school and I hope it can be really useful no matter what stage of learning that you are don't forget to like comment and subscribe let's go